Hey, soccer fans, and welcome to a new segment from the Sons of a Pitch and American Soccer Podcast, One Hot Minute, where I, one of your hosts, Nick Pateras, take a look at some of the latest headlines featuring the Chicago Fire, our hometown team. As you know, Mike and I are from the Chicago suburbs, so we're going to start taking a closer look at the team located a little east of here on the lake, playing at Soldier Field, the Chicago Fire. How does this work? Well, I grab a headline from the latest Chicago Fire news, break it down, and give you all the details about what's going on with this Midwest club. And tonight, we are going to look at Mauricio Pineda, a defender from the Chicago Fire who just extended his contract with the club through 2023 with a club option for 2024. So let's get to know this defender a little bit. Mauricio Pineda homegrown 23-year-old from Bolingbrook, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago. Though he's a defender, he can also play mid if needed. And a little bit of trivia here, his older brother, Victor Pineda, was the first ever Chicago Fire homegrown signing. And you can see a few other stats that he's got here, as well as his stats from MLSsoccer.com this past season, his rookie season. A couple other things that you need to know are that this, again, was his rookie season. He played all 23 games. He started all 23 games, racking up over 2,000 minutes, about 88 minutes a game. So he was an iron horse, an iron man here for the Chicago Fire. Currently, the website Transfer Market has him valued at about $788,000. Rough translation from the euro value that they had on there. Um, And also recently, he got one USMNT call-up where he was at camp. Didn't get a full cap, didn't play in the game, but was uh, catching the eye of Triple G, Greg Berhalter there. So that's a little bit of background here on the Chicago Fire's center back. But big picture, let's take a look at what this extension by the Fire to Pineda means. They've got him for another three seasons, possibly a fourth, depending on that option. Now, the Chicago Fire finished 11 in the 14-team Eastern Conference this year and missed the playoffs. Essentially, they're an expansion team, right? New coach, new logo, new stadium, new roster. Just missing the playoffs wasn't surprising. But they did show some promise and some great play on the offensive and the defensive end. However, they ended up with a minus six goal differential. So the Chicago Fire need Pineda to be a big part of their defense if they are going to make the playoffs and start winning some trophies here in the second city. Now, let's take a look at some of his statistics. I put on the previous slide up, you know, his numbers, according to MLSsoccer.com. But looking at FBref.com, he gives us, uh, they give us a little bit more details of what Pineda's performance last year means. And just for context, let's compare it to Defender of the Year, Walker Zimmerman. By the way, Pineda was named the Chicago Fire 2020 Defender of the Year. So we're looking at two premier defenders here, right? So... Passes completed, and I just pulled a random sampling of some of these statistics that are out there. But I think it'll be surprising once you hear the comparison. Pineda completed 89% of his passes this past season, 1,100 of 1,235 passes. Walker Zimmerman, 84% completion rate, only 840 passes of 1,002. Shots blocked. Pineda was able to block 13 shots, Zimmerman 19. Tackles. Pineda. 33 tackles this past season. Zimmerman only 28. Dribbles. This really stood out to me. Pineda completed 10 of 12 dribbles this past season, whereas Zimmerman, 3 of 3. Pineda doing a lot more work with the ball at his feet than Zimmerman, who is kind of your typical big man center back, uh, just kind of getting in the way and clearing things out. Pineda can do a little bit more with his feet, and it looks like the Chicago Fire are okay with him doing that. Now, when it comes to the press, Pineda. Pressed successfully 36% of the time, Zimmerman 38% of the time. So a slight edge to Zimmerman on successful pressing. But here's another category that a lot of people gave uh, credit to Walker Zimmerman because not only did Nashville make the playoffs, which boosted his Defender of the Year scores, but Zimmerman's a threat on the offensive end. He only had three goals this year. He had a few less starts than Pineda, I believe, maybe one or two, three. Um, But Pineda, also three goals and two assists to his name. So Pineda in a number of statistical categories, is very close to Walker Zimmerman, the MLS Defender of the Year. So look for Mauricio Pineda to be in the conversation as some of the league's best defenders, assuming the Chicago Fire can make the playoffs 
and actually have a good run of form in the 2021 season. So those are kind of the numbers. That's kind of the big picture. Here's my analysis of Pineda. And obviously look for more team previews and analysis as we draw closer to the season. The Sons of a Pitch, an American Soccer Podcast, is going to have you covered for all your teams, right? From Atlanta to LAFC to all of them. Uh, here's my analysis on Pineda as this upcoming season. He is going to be that prototypical center back. And he needs to be if the Fire are going to have any success. He'll be taking up space. He's going to be clogging the passing lanes. He'll be shutting down defenders. And he is definitely someone who can play with his feet as well as just boom a clearance whenever the situation may need it. So look for Pineda to be the key on the defense for the Chicago Fire and possibly even spring some of those counterattacks. So with that being said, this has been a hot minute here. You can get more of our American soccer content following us on Twitter at SOP Soccer, subscribing right here on our YouTube channel, following on Facebook at Sons of a Pitch. Feel free to email us, podcast at sonsofapitchsoccer.com. We appreciate you supporting and following on social media. Donations on Patreon and the Cash App are also very much appreciated. And so we want to thank you, our viewers, our listeners, our fans, for this first episode of One Hot Minute with the Chicago Fire and your host, Nick, here with the Sons of a Pitch, an American soccer podcast.